Hi, today's lesson is about factors that affect photosynthesis. So, what is photosynthesis? It is basically a process that plants carry out in order to make glucose. The plants will absorb carbon dioxide and water in order to make glucose plus oxygen. So CO2 plus H2O is a C6H2O6 plus O2. The plant's leaves are full of chloroplast, which contain a green substance called chlorophyll. The chloroplast will absorb the light energy from the sun, and this will be used to convert carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil into glucose. Oxygen is also produced as a waste product, which is then released into the air. Photosynthesis can be affected by different factors. When one or more of these factors are in short supply, this will affect how much a plant can photosynthesize. This is called the limiting factor. The first factor we are going to look at is light intensity. As light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis also increases. However, the rate of photosynthesis stops increasing, which is shown by the graph leveling off. This is because there is a limiting factor affecting the rate of photosynthesis, which can be temperature, carbon dioxide concentration, or amount of chlorophyll in the leaf. The second factor we are going to look at is carbon dioxide concentration. So again, as carbon dioxide level increases, the rate of photosynthesis also increases. However, the rate of photosynthesis stops increasing, again shown by the graph leveling off, because there is a limiting factor affecting the rate of photosynthesis, which can be temperature, light intensity, or amount of chlorophyll in the leaf. The third factor is temperature. The graph of temperature is different from the other two graphs we saw. Let's take a look at why. As the temperature increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. And this is because the particles have greater energy, so more successful collisions will occur. The highest point in the graph is called the optimum temperature. And at this temperature, photosynthesis is at its fastest because it is the ideal temperature for enzymes to work at. It is usually around 30 to 40 degrees. When the temperature goes above the optimum temperature, the enzymes involved in the process of photosynthesis will start to denature. This will then stop the process of photosynthesis even if the other factors are high. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and have a go at the question on the slide. So the graph shows how carbon dioxide affects the rate of photosynthesis in a plant. Explain the shape of the graph and suggest how the rate of photosynthesis will be increased. You can use the diagram to illustrate your answer. Okay, let's go through the answer. So start off by explaining how as carbon dioxide concentration increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is a reactant until another factor becomes limiting, such as temperature or light intensity. This is shown by the graph leveling off. You can increase the rate of photosynthesis again by increasing the factor that was in short supply and was therefore the limiting factor. The graph will again level off as another factor becomes limiting, which will then need to be increased in order to increase rate of photosynthesis.